So we just built this workbench, but we have our first problem. Gonna need a vise. When researching what kind of vise would potentially work for this outdoor workbench, it needs to be something strong enough to hold work pieces in place, yet small enough to be easily transportable. I don't want to permanently attach anything to this bench since it's sitting outside unprotected for the most part. I saw a build that 3x3 Custom did on their channel, building a Moxon vise that clamped to the workbench and thought that would be a good solution to use here. So that's the direction we are heading with this build. I did watch a few other videos on building this type of vise and almost all of them centered around buying a kit to get bolts and hardware. We're going to go in a bit of a different direction and build this one here for under $10 using some scrap 1x3 and two 6 inch full thread bolts with nuts we bought at a local hardware store. We need one board that's 20 inches long for the back and another that's 16 inches for the front. After doubling up the boards with glue and screws, making sure they're countersunk so that they won't impact the projects, we needed to decide how deep to mark the hold sections on the sides of the longer backboard that will be where the clamps are for clamping it to the bench when in use. We want it to be deep enough that the clamps won't be over the top of the vise so that they won't obstruct our projects. We cleaned up the ends of the boards, then using the stop gauge on the miter saw, cleaned up the sides where the clamps are going to need to attach. If I had a Moxon vise, this would be a good time to use it, but without one, we're going to use the side of the planter for now. Double checking that the cut is deep enough, looks good. The next step is to drill the holes through the two boards for the bolts. We measured it out so that we could fit a 12 inch board between the bolts if needed. This Faustner bit was having trouble getting through these boards, so after getting through the first board and getting a mark into the second board, it took him apart to finish drilling the second board. A quick test fit, and of course it doesn't fit. So I drilled them out with a larger standard bit, making sure it's still smaller than the size of the head of the bolt and the nut. And now it works, moving the two pieces freely. To sink the nut into the wood, I put it on the bolt and held it against the wood to mark the outline. I then chiseled out that area to the depth of the nut. It's important that this still be a tight fit so that the clamping action works and the nut doesn't spin freely. And when done, it sits flush with the wood. Now the bolt side still needs a handle. I went with a basic rectangle knob, making sure the height of them will still be under the top of the vise like the clamps. Once the hole is drilled, it's the exact same exercise as the nut. Mark the outline of the head and chisel it out. To make sure these don't come out, I went ahead and applied CA glue to lock the head into the wood. A quick spray of the accelerator and it's good to go. Same thing for the nuts on the end. I went ahead and screwed in the bolts, held the nut tight against the wood, applied the CA glue and the accelerator, and then took it back apart. After a quick sanding, it was time for a little tongue oil for a little wear and tear protection.
While doing this first project on the workbench, it was apparent it needed a little more bracing. With an extra 2x4, I went ahead and added a brace to the front to sturdy it up and add some clamping support, screwing it into the legs and directly into the top. I also added another brace to the back part way down and these really took the small wobble out of the table. All that's left is final assembly. The one downside to these standard bolts is that they do have a rather fine thread pattern, so they do take a while to spin in. It does have a lot of clamping power as you can see here. The one side is able to hold the entire assembly in place easily. And here's the final product. You can see that the clamp handles still sit low enough that the top is unobstructed. And the extra bolts come out the back here, so there is an extra hardware up front you could accidentally bump into. That is a flaw I saw with some of the kits out there. You can see that the threads are really only a pain the first time setting the gap. Once you have the size set, it only takes a turn or two to loosen the piece up to move it around if needed. This clamp can hold a piece 12 inches wide and up to three and a quarter inches deep. Well, that's it for this build. Looking forward to using it on a couple projects we have here coming up shortly. Thanks for watching.